right, and neither should you. Boys, there's a bar up here. Right? I don't have any money. Oh! 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 You are in violation of ordinance number nine, carrying guns in town. Now hand them over. You hold on a second. Bill, what's he talking about over night now? You know what I think? We went and made that marshal mad. Oh no! <laughs> Bill, I'm serious, boys. Hand them over. Oh, Fred, Fred, we went to fun in the battle, you know. I'm a little bit drunk and they, well, they're a lot drunk. <laughs> you put your six shooter away. You want my gun? Yeah. You can have it. Buy the book. Every time. Every time. He's dead. Uh, he wanted my gun, right. so I gave it to him. I don't know what happened. How is Mark? He's not looking good, White. I don't think he's going to make it. That Marshal died. Yeah, I'll swing it for it, Herb. It's time you turn him loose. You turn him loose and you forgive her ever here. He just shot a man. Stand trial for him. Oh, 
so pity y'all got a bottle of whiskey. You, sir, have not changed. Indeed. We're very old over old drink, but if you put in front of me at this point, you know, sir. <laughs> I can't believe you can't pulling us out of there like that. Oh, we got half my uncle back there. So many of boss. I'm not going back to Alhambra. That's the trouble we don't need. I'm going to tell you what I need. I need another drink. If I don't look to you, you can use one too. If you have enough, I'm going to tell you when I've had enough. And find me a drink, boy. I want these cans. Buy some new ones. I don't want you shot for the year. Bartender! I don't buy your drinks. Here you hollering, What are you boys having? Morgan herb. How many herbs are in this town? You got ten? Fifteen? It's five. It's more than enough to handle yours. Hey, we're here for a drink. Woo! Yay! Yeah. 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 Now it's the lawyer, Doc Holliday. You getting ready to go out on this town? You gonna spread some more lies about me? No way! I do believe I've ever only told the truth about you, you're a drunken fool. I, I, oh, it's not to worry, Tom. You see, I ain't coughing and coughing, but it never seems to back up any of those threats. No, he is just a now. Watch your mouth, lawyer. Don't make me kill you. I'm through with your words. I keep threatening me, you threaten the earth boys, I'm sick of it. Let's see what settle this little blood of you right here now. But what, what's it going to be, I? See, I ain't fixed right for a fight. You take all that big money. Okay, now I can give this town a favor. Oh, it would be really. See, I don't need any more trouble. Twice you got a gun, huh? Watch your hair. You don't care. Here's something you're going to get more fight than you can handle. Like I said, clear out. Check those guns, Tom. It's your responsibility. Well, Morgan, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> got a strange idea of fun there, Doc. Perhaps. Very well, Morgan. I find myself suddenly bored. <laughs> Talk to a close, but you boys are gonna do as I say. Get a chain for a holiday, and I'm gonna be waiting for him in the morning. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna be waiting for all of you. This interest wants that hangover kicks in. I'd like you to pass that to get the whole thing. First, was all luck over that just. Yeah. Now, sure, he's a fool when he's drunk, but he's a 
harmless. You had no call roughing him up like that. Friends are making threats and carry a gun. Lucky's alive. Who do you think you are, Irv? Some Dodge City pimpy come down here? You've seen that dog near the tree. Yeah? He does anywhere we go. He gets a drink and thinks he'll rip his white and white old cats, and I'm sick of it. Family is family. If you can't be counted on to back your brother's play every single time, what are you doing here? What if he's wrong? What if he gets all killed? What if? I'm off me! I got his spot. Yeah. Right. 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 fine. He's pretty good. Cool. You might come out of town and sober up. In fact, Cowboys you can't talk to us like that, Irv. Talk to me with it, please. Well, ain't nothing but a lot of horse thieves and cattle rustlers. You know, Sheriff Behan might not care what you do between here and the Mexican border, but I do. Virgil, I'm going to tell you something about Sheriff Behan. He's a smart man that leaves us alone. Matter of fact, I think that Sheriff is going to live himself a long, happy life, or like some folks I know. Uh, make threats again, I'm working. You know, don't make threats. When the same men die, they die. Or you know, I've been like you my whole life, Clint. You don't scare me. I'll go to Charleston. I'll go to San Simone. I'll fight every man in your gang. You hurt my family. I will kill you. That is some mighty tough talk. Shame it's coming out of a dead man. See, you boys, you try and throw us out of this town, but we're still here. And we ain't leaving. But this, it's gonna end today, White. I'm done talking. Come on, boys. <laughs> Self shot dead is more spoils for the rest of them. Where he's going? Might have to, what? He's drunk and suspicious. Four of us know about the deal he made. Turn in the boys to the vents and stage hold on. Girl Del Rico get rid of that. Won't set too well. Carries us and carries that seat. Had no right to
doing odd jobs defending ourselves as peace officers. And he was right. But not everybody in this town saw it that way. Two months after the gunfight happened, Virgil was ambushed outside the Crystal Palace saloon. Three shotguns went off, but he still refused to die. Crippled up pretty bad, Virgil wandered west till then finally caught up with him in the battle in 1905. Not as lucky was Wyatt's brother Morgan. Morgan was shot in the back while playing a game of billiards up on Allen Street. Morgan died at midnight, March 19, 1882. It was brother Wyatt's birthday. Now in 1887, the this whole town began to shake apart the two main causes of the gunfight died hundreds of miles apart from each other. That summer, putting together a new gang up in northern Arizona, Ike Plant was shot and killed by a male order detective. Not long after that, a lifetime of drinking tuberculosis and bad decisions caught up with yours truly up in Colorado. I don't care to talk about it. <laughs> Wyatt Earp, he was the last man standing. Wyatt spent the rest of his days traveling. He went to Idaho to Alaska, finally ended up in Jazz Age Hollywood, looking for another tombstone and a chance to get it right. He never did find it. When he died in 1929, just ahead of his 81st birthday in Los Angeles, his last words, suppose, suppose. <laughs> and that, folks, is our show. We show if you liked it. Thank you all for joining us today. You folks have a great day in Tombstone, Arizona. Adios.